What if I told you the secret to better blood sugar, brain power, and fat burning was brown dust from tree bark? Yep, cinnamon. It's not just for French toast anymore, but what really happens inside your body when you eat it every day? Let's find out because this sweet little spice might be doing way more than you think. Let's start with the basics. Cinnamon isn't just that thing you sprinkle on toast or swirl into lattes. It's actually the inner bark of trees from the Cinnamomum genus. Yes, bark. There are two main types, cassia and ceylon. Cassia is cheaper and more common, while ceylon, often called true cinnamon, is the one you want for daily use. We'll explain why in just a bit. Did you know cinnamon has been used since 2000 BC in ancient Egypt? Not just as a spice, but also in medicine and even for embalming. Here's where things get spicy. Cinnamon may help lower blood sugar levels by mimicking insulin. Think of it as a helpful body double that makes your cells more responsive. In a study published in the journal Diabetes Care, participants with type 2 diabetes who took 1 to 6 grams of cinnamon daily saw a significant drop in fasting blood glucose. Science-backed and budget-friendly? Yes, please. Next up, cholesterol and heart health. Several studies have found that cinnamon can reduce LDL cholesterol, that's the lousy one, and triglycerides while keeping HDL, the happy cholesterol, stable or slightly elevated. One meta-analysis of 13 clinical trials showed significant improvements in lipid profiles with cinnamon supplementation. So, if your arteries were a highway, cinnamon's helping reduce traffic congestion. Cinnamon is loaded with antioxidants, more than garlic and even oregano. Antioxidants are like the bouncers at your cellular nightclub. They kick out free radicals before they wreck the place. And cinnamon ranks in the top seven of all antioxidant-rich herbs and spices. Yep, even beating garlic. One compound, cinnamaldehyde, is particularly powerful, responsible for that distinct cinnamon smell and many of its healing effects. So when you're adding cinnamon to your smoothie, you're not just flavoring it, you're fortifying it. Let's talk inflammation. It is your body's defense mechanism. But chronic inflammation? That's a fire alarm that never shuts off. Cinnamon can help lower inflammation by reducing the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines. A 2015 study in food and function confirmed cinnamon's ability to reduce several markers of inflammation. In plain terms, it helps your body cool off when it's getting too fired up. Less chronic inflammation means less risk for heart disease, arthritis, and even some cancers. Cinnamon isn't just good for the body, it's a brain food too. Animal studies suggest that cinnamon may help protect neurons, improve motor function, and even reduce the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Think of it like a warm blanket for your brain cells, comforting, protective, and smart. Researchers are even exploring a cinnamon compounds as potential treatments for Alzheimer's. Did you know? In one mouse study, cinnamon improved memory and learning abilities. Yes, even mice are getting brainier with cinnamon. Cinnamon doesn't just taste good, it fights back. Its essential oils have been shown to combat E. coli, salmonella, and even candida yeast infections. Got bad breath? Chewing cinnamon sticks, the natural kind, not sugary gum, may actually help neutralize odor-causing bacteria. Cinnamon is the natural mouthwash you didn't know you needed. Cinnamon's essential oils are so potent, they're being studied for use in natural food preservation. Trying to manage weight? Cinnamon may help by slowing down the emptying of your stomach, 
making you feel fuller longer. It also helps stabilize blood sugar spikes, which reduces sugar cravings. Imagine your appetite is a toddler. Cinnamon helps keep that toddler from screaming for cookies every two hours. Here is a myth. Cinnamon is totally safe in any amount. But the fact is not all cinnamon is created equal. Cassia cinnamon contains high levels of coumarin, which in large doses can damage the liver. Ceylon cinnamon has much lower levels and is safer for regular use. Translation, sprinkle, don't, shovel. So how do you start using cinnamon daily? Add half teaspoon to your morning coffee. Stir it into yogurt or oatmeal. Sprinkle on sweet potatoes or roasted carrots. Blend into smoothies. Use it as a sugar substitute in desserts. Easy, flavorful, and functional. Dr. Richard Anderson, a researcher at the U.S. Department of Agriculture, studied cinnamon's effects on insulin sensitivity and concluded that Cinnamon improves glucose and lipids of people with type 2 diabetes, credible enough to sprinkle on top of your skepticism. However, cinnamon isn't for everyone. Avoid high doses if you're on blood thinners. If you have liver disease, if you're pregnant in large amounts, it may not be safe. As always, check with a healthcare provider before making major changes. Here's a spicy secret. Cinnamon may act as a natural aphrodisiac. Studies show that the aroma of cinnamon can increase alertness and even improve sexual desire. Yes, your kitchen spice rack may be more romantic than you thought. Candlelit dinner with cinnamon on the menu? Now we're talking. Let's quickly bring it all together. One, cinnamon helps balance blood sugar. Two lowers bad cholesterol. Three, packs powerful antioxidants. Four, fights inflammation and bacteria. Five, supports brain health. Six, aids in weight control. Seven, smells amazing and use the right kind and the right amount. It's not just a spice, it's a health upgrade. So, are you ready to add cinnamon to your daily ritual? Let us know in the comments. How do you like your cinnamon, sweet, savory, or both? If you learned something new, give this video a like. Subscribe for more health breakdowns and tap the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Your next healthy habit might be just one sprinkle away.